First off in stop motion animation you need to know what you are using to make the animation like a camera, phone to take pics with, or a tripod to hold the camera. The equipment used in filming a stop motion animation is camera, phone tripod or arm to hold camera. If you can't afford a tripod then I would suggest making a camera board out of Legos, masking arm, background, Lego, green screen etc. Light. Absolutely no natural light whatsoever. Controlled lights only, lamp or flashlight, a Lego base plate, the camera clicker once you have all the equipment, you need an app to animate on. I would recommend Stop Motion Studio. You can do so much on that app. Once you get the app you want to use, you need to learn all the features on the free version. You can change the FPS of your animation depending on how smooth you want the animation to look. I think 10 to 15 FPS is good to start with, you can move on and do a higher frame rate, but it's more difficult to animate the higher the frame rate. When animating, click on the little camera icon and then click on the three lines in the bottom right corner of your screen. Then click the M and click on manual exposure and focus. This allows no light flickers in your animation and easier to mask. Speaking of masking, go all the way back to the screen where you see the camera icon. Then click on the 1 over 1 button on the bottom middle of your screen. If you don't have the pro version you don't have this option. I highly recommend the pro version. Anyway if you have the pro version. Click the erase icon in the bar in front of your screen. This allows R to do something called masking. Masking is when you erase an object or thing from your screen. This is used when you need a character to jump or flip. Now for the story. When writing the story, you have to do something called storyboarding. Storyboarding is when you write a story with dialogue and one or two drawings of what you want a particular shot to look like. Here's an example. This is probably the most important step when creating an animation because you're planning your animation. If you don't plan your scene or story, you won't know what your animation will be about. Thank you for watching. If you want a part 2 of this. Please subscribe. Goodbye.